I've been using the iPhone 15 Pro Max for almost a week now, and I've got to say there are some standout features that I absolutely love. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you six things that I love about the iPhone 15 Pro Max, but before I get started, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any of my upcoming iPhone 15 content. Now, let's dive right in. First up, the iPhone 15 Pro Max is 19 grams lighter than its predecessor, the 14 Pro Max. And while I know it may not sound like a big deal, trust me, it makes a significant difference. I can actually feel it in my hand and it's so much more comfortable to use. I can confidently say that the weight reduction is a game changer. Number two the rounded edges. Just like being lighter, the rounded edges really help with the grip and I don't feel like I have a bulky iPhone anymore. I've mentioned a few times that I was planning on purchasing the iPhone 15 Pro this year because I wanted a smaller iPhone. However, I ended up buying the Pro Max because I wanted a telephoto lens and I have to say that I don't regret it one bit because of how comfortable it is to hold. Also, number three, I knew the iPhone 15 Pro Max was lighter since the beginning, but I didn't know it was also narrower, and I am shocked that I'm now able to type using only one hand. That was nearly impossible to do with the 14 Pro Max, but with this one, I find myself doing it all the time, and it is incredible. Number four, the new finish and colors. This year, the Pro models are made of titanium with a fine brushed finish on the sides with the textured matte glass finish that we are already familiar with. And what can I say about the natural titanium color? Oh my God, this is by far my favorite iPhone color ever released. It is so different and chic. I simply love how it looks. And for those that are curious about the tone, the natural titanium is not gold. Depending on the light that is under, it does look gold, but it isn't. It's really similar to the natural titanium of the Apple Watch Ultra. So I would compare it to a darker silver or a lighter gray color. Now, before I continue, let me quickly introduce you to our sponsor, Casetify. Their iPhone cases are the perfect choices for those who want to combine style and incredible drop protection. Their Ultra Bounce case, for example, can survive drops from up to a jaw-dropping 32.8 feet. That's 10 times the military standard. Alongside the Ultra Bounce case, they also offer the Bounce, Ultra Impact, Impact, and other case styles so you can choose the protection that better suits your lifestyle. And the coolest thing is that you can have this amazing impact proof case combined with your choice of print. You have over 2,000 curated prints to choose from, and you can even create your own custom case. To keep your iPhone 15 safe and stylish, the choices are endless. Make sure to go to my description box and click the link casetify.com slash marinatech to get 15% off your order today. And thank you so much, Casetify, for sponsoring today's video. And now let's move on to number five. The camera system has received an exciting upgrade, the new telephoto lens, which offers five times optical zoom up from three on the 14 Pro Max. And it definitely exceeded my expectations. Before the official launch, I was already excited to have this new lens and everything and try it, but I honestly didn't think the photos would look as good as they do. The photos are incredibly sharp and they look amazing. I'll be using this lens a lot, that's for sure, but let me know what you think down below in the comments. And last but not least, number six, the new action button. Apple has replaced the mute switch with it on the Pro models, and it works similarly to the one on the Apple Watch Ultra. By default, the action button is set to toggle between the ring silent switch, but you can choose which action you prefer, and that's super easy to do. Simply go to settings and tap on action button. Apple created its own section in settings. And here you can choose between silent mode, you can have it set to open the camera and choose which camera mode you want to open it to, flashlight, voice memos, magnifier, or trigger a shortcut, which is the coolest action I believe because you can pretty much open any app or action on your iPhone. After choosing your preferred action, you simply just press and hold the button to launch it. So there you have it. These are the six things that I love about the iPhone 15 Pro Max after almost a week of intensive use. 
It's lighter, more comfortable, has better grip, a narrower design, stunning finishes and colors, an upgraded camera system, and the new action button. If you're considering upgrading, I hope this video gave you a better idea of what to expect. But the full review will be published here in the next couple of weeks. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet so you don't miss any of my upcoming iPhone 15 content. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.